Let's jump right into today's movie, a murder mystery taking place in the strip club, Dance with Death. I don't know much, but I know that's not Martin Mull. Okay, so who's the star of today's movie? Barbara Allen Woods, most famous for One Tree Hill? What the hell? How did she go from playing a stripper who's naked half the movie to being in a CW drama? What? What else do you want, Dan? That's pretty cute. Where'd you get that? No, didn't I tell you there was a sailor? Would you just tie it on? Oh, okay. Give me a name. No! Why? Oh, because despite being 50, she was topless in most of that show, too. Her movie begins with a conversation between two strippers as one is about to leave to meet her boyfriend. And where are you going? Art gave me the rest of the night off. Hmm. I guess he'll do anything to help keep you straight. So where are you and your uh, boyfriend going tonight? I don't know yet. But I know one thing. Don't wait up. The brunette is played by Katya Sassoon, who we talked about in Blood Fist 4. Her comment of keep you straight is not about keeping her off drugs, but about her sexuality. They used to be lovers, and as bad of an actress as the blonde is, she's even worse at being a lesbian because she taped herself having sex with multiple men. Art. 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 More, more. What the fuck? Hi, hon. What's for dinner? Your ass, bitch. Hey, 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 Jody, wait. In my own house? Jody. In my own fucking bed? I gotta kill you, hey. you know that? Don't worry though, we don't have to put up with her bad acting for long because other than the two flashbacks of her sex tapes I already showed you, we don't have to see her again because she's immediately killed. Barbara Allen Woods, who plays a reporter tired of getting only fluff pieces as assignments. She wants to go undercover as a stripper in the club and enters an amateur night competition to win a job. She is awful, and yes, that is Lisa Kudrow cheering her on. The only thing that's going to save her now is a great set of tits. Not bad. She comes in third place, but wins by default because the two college girls in front of her were only doing it for prize money, didn't want a job, and were told the prize money is just kind of a con and is your down payment for working at the club. We're still pretty low on murder victims, so let's fix that. One of the strippers performs stoned out of her mind and is fired, and then immediately murdered on her way home. Oh, 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 oh,
So who's the killer? We have so many suspects. There's a creepy guy outside the club buying knives. Oh. <laughs> Watch this. Ouch. All right, so you're better than me. Come on, you better give it back. There's a creepy guy inside the club trying to give strippers a hundred dollar bill. Hey, see note you ain't taken? Nobody gives those without wanting something back. A drink. Is that too much to ask? These days it is. There's Barbara Allen Wood's boss, who not only was having an affair with the blonde girl we saw killed in the beginning, he also has a history of being around when strippers get killed. There's Katya Sassoon, who is really protective of all of her girlfriends and has a thing for Barbara Allen Woods. Come home with me now. Oh, I can't just leave him here. Get rid of that guy. I know him. What? He was the guy Whitney was seeing the night she was killed. Are you sure? I am absolutely positive. Come with me. Honey, did you rearrange the kitchen? I can't find a beer. I see. You'd rather be alone with a killer than a dyke? She doesn't dislike you because you're gay. She dislikes you because you're Team Brooke. There's also Martin Mall, the club owner, who immediately dismisses the idea, pointing out that he loses money if his strippers die, and the DJ, who has a thing for all strippers, but never gets to bang any of them. The creepy guy inside the club is revealed to be a cop who's undercover himself, and saves Barbara Allen Woods from some rapists. This reveals the anger and jealousy of Katya Sassoon. Normally that would put her pretty high up on the suspect list. But I know something that the characters in this movie don't. The movie was written by the writer-director of Strip to Kill 2. And Jealous Lesbian was the killer in that movie. So it's not going to be the killer in this movie. Our killer is revealed and she has no reason to keep stripping. But she kind of likes it now. As multiple people are revealed to be the killer and then they die and more bodies drop, we finally get a showdown with the real final killer in a huge battle through a warehouse.
I know you're in there. They come and get me! Hitting him with a 2x4 doesn't work. She should have hit him with a wine bottle. Eventually, she finds gasoline and sets the killer on fire, though. This movie has a weird little place in history because it's Martin Mull, who was on Roseanne, Lisa Kudrow, who was on Friends, and it's weird for them people to be in a movie like this. As I alluded to earlier, this movie has a little bit in common with Strip to Kill 2. Not only is a murder mystery revolving around a strip club, that movie was directed by Cat Shea, Written by Kat Shea, her husband, and Philip Charles Moore. This movie is directed by Philip Charles Moore and written by Kat Shea and her husband. Also, the main character from Strip to Kill 2 plays one of the background strippers in this film. While, of course, the focus is on lots and lots of stripper scenes in this woman who's a reporter that kind of falls in love with stripping in the power it gives her. There's also a murder mystery going on that if you're not really into murder mysteries and haven't seen a lot of them, this one might trip you up and you might actually be surprised who the killer is because there's a lot of people with really solid motives. If you're into these type of movies or just want to see Barbara Allen Woods naked, I'd say check this one out. It has three comedians, Martin Maul, Lisa Kudrow, and Michael McDonald in it. And it's a weird little thing that happened in 1992. Thank you for watching. And as always, I shall try to do better next time.